Welcome everybody to Clarington Kia, where it's your experience your way every day, online and in store. And today we're gonna take you through a tour of this 2021 Toyota Sienna all wheel drive hybrid van. This is a great people mover. Obviously the hybrid's gonna save you a ton on fuel and it is jam packed with features. This is a one owner vehicle, no accident history, just over 50,000 kilometers. Now we're gonna go through some of the great features on the Sienna. We're also gonna talk about the exterior and interior condition as well. So that way you have the confidence of knowing that this is a great van for you and the family right here from Clarington Kia. So let's jump right into it. So the hybrid powertrain. So underneath this hood, we've got a 2.5 liter, four cylinder ICE internal combustion engine, gas engine, call it what you will, but we've got a standard kind of traditional 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. Now the hybrid component is two electric motors paired with a 1.9 kilowatt hour battery. That's a really small battery pack, but what that battery pack is doing is powering those electric motors, which then gives you an acceleration assist essentially is what that is. Um, so that way, you know, from a standing stop, those electric motors kick in and that's what gets the uh, Sienna moving. And then afterwards, that regular gas engine kicks in to give you the horsepower if you need to pass on the highway or things like that. What that all means to you is an average fuel economy of 6.5 liters per 100 kilometers. That's incredible. That's about half what a van this size would traditionally get for a fuel economy. So it's definitely gonna save you a ton of money at the pump. Now, best of all, because it is a hybrid um, and you still have that gas engine, you can tow up to 3,500 pounds with the Sienna as well. So if you've got a couple toys that you wanna bring along with you, you can do that as well. And of course, that hybrid um, powertrain will allow you to basically, when you're idling, just use those electric motors and that electric battery pack to keep the car running, operating, etc. And then when you hit the gas, the engines will kick in eventually, again, giving you that extra horsepower. So that's kind of the hybrid system on the Sienna. Great opportunity to get yourself a beautiful van with some great fuel savings. Now, taking a look at the front, you can see nice LED headlights up top. We've got automatic high beam as well. So at nighttime on those roads, the automatic high beams will turn on and off, off obviously when there's cars approaching, on when they're not. And it actually is a great feature. I have it on my vehicle. You'd be surprised how often it turns on the high beams and really illuminates a lot more of the road on situations you would never normally use it on. So a nice cool feature to have. As we're making our tour around the vehicle, I will point out dings, dent scratches. You don't have to peel your eyes. I'll make sure that we zoom in and give you a closer look. And speaking of a closer look, have a look at these nice 17 inch graphite alloy wheels, nice tires on there, really good shape on those. Now, as we take a step back, give you a nice side profile of the Sienna and let's talk about some safety features while we're here because this Sienna has all of the safety features that I would consider are advanced, um, you know, for 2021. We've got forward emergency braking, we have forward collision warning. So all that means is essentially as you're driving, if you get distracted, you don't see the traffic slowing down in front of you, it will alert you. And if you don't react in time, it will grab the brakes for you, hopefully avoiding that collision in front. But we also have lane keeping assist and lane departure warning. So as we're driving, the Sienna sees both the dotted white lines and that solid line to the right of the vehicle. And it will keep you in the center of the lane as you're driving and not allow you to drift over either way. So that way, of course, keeps you nice and safe. Maybe you're a little drowsy at night. Maybe you just, again, not paying attention. It will keep you centered in the lane. And then we have blind spot warning as well. We have a rear cross traffic alert. So when you're backing out of parking spots or your driveway, it's looking for drivers, uh, other cars, bikes, kids, what have you from the rear of the vehicle as well, just to make sure that everybody stays safe, including pedestrians and people around you. So that is the advanced safety features on this Sienna. Now, as we're at the side and it is a van, I might as well point out that we do have power sliding doors. So push and hold, got to unlock it first, push and hold, or we just won't work from the key. Let's see why. Hold on, hold on. Stand by. Maybe I didn't set up the car properly because there is the power door. Maybe, maybe that's why. Let's see. Let's see. Nope. Nope. Why not? Why won't we open for the key? Maybe we have a dead battery on the key. Not sure. Let's do it El Manuel. So ask about why the key isn't working. Maybe it needs to be repaired. 
uh, repaired mean not like repaired like it's broken repaired like repaired to the car like your Bluetooth or maybe it's just a dead brighter not sure but we do these videos live so that way you know that we're not hiding anything's dings dents, scratches malfunctioning keys what have you so that way you know that there's no hidden tricks there's no camera tricks there's no cutting we just kind of go live gives you a authentic look at the Sienna but now that we've got the driver's door working and open you can see here we've got tons of room for rear passengers we have captain's chairs for the second row but we also have this middle seat here which you can actually take out if you like to make it more like captain's chairs so it's an eight seat configuration but you can remove that seat to make it a seven seater with those captain's chairs nice armrests built in that you can see here we've also got the rubber Toyota Sienna mats down here the seats are in fantastic condition no rips tears stains or burns in them and then taking a smell definitely a non-smoker vehicle now back passengers have some cup holders down here we also have two usb ports here a usb c and a usb a so we can keep all the electronics charged up and then up top here you can see we have tri-zone climate control so rear passengers have their own independent temperature settings which is of course fantastic in case you've got little ones back here you need to keep them a little bit warmer than passengers in the front or you got teens back here complaining that it's too hot dad turn down the thermostat ah shut up just use your own climate control back here sorry that was rude you know what i mean uh, to move these seats forward i'm going to try to do it with one hand you pull this and then oh it's gonna be hard to do with one hand okay i you have to trust me you can move the seats forward obviously let's recline them here to show you oh there's a cheat i forgot okay pull that up this seat comes up everything moves forward not just that my bad so taking a look in the rear third row seating lots of room back here take a look at the leg room right and then if you look see a little black box in the panel there that is our usb ports for the third row passengers as well so pretty sweet deal we've got usbs all over the place to make sure that the kids are charged up plugged in and quiet with their electronics nice to know right love that feature coming around to the rear again it's in really good shape i mean it's a black vehicle so it does show little hairline uh scratches here and there but nothing deep that i need to point out to you a lot of the stuff i mean if you just took a weekend and really polished it up a lot of the little 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 minor things they'd come out no problem now taking a look with that third row seat up as it is you can see there's still tons of room back here for cargo you can see we've got the rubber mats we've got the carpeted mats which are still in the plastic from new i mean that's kind of cool right and then if you want to uh, fold down these seats it's really easy they labeled it pull this handle one pull this handle two and it all tumbles down in here and then you've got a nice flat service in case you want to pack in some boxes or things like that let's close it up here and the only thing i'm going to try to point out but you're probably not even going to see it but up here there are again some of those really really hairline scratches but this stuff here is so minor and so cosmetic they're very hard to see but because it's a black vehicle they kind of stand out just a touch more than if it was a silver white things like that um again nothing i'm concerned about nothing that i really want to point out you know in detail but just to give you an idea, idea that there is a couple little hairline uh scratches on the exterior of the sienna but talk about a great looking van as far as vans go i mean they probably have one of the nicest looking ones out there really great design of course that hybrid powertrain whew, gotta love that right gonna save you a ton of money on fuel now let's jump into the front seats and let's go over some of the controls and some of the nice features we have up front here taking a look first of all with this front driver and passenger configurations these front seats again in great shape no rips tears stains or burns and then look at the center console what a neat design we've got that nice touchscreen display and then this big center console that comes down here for your armrest as well as your controls and then tons of storage under there I'm gonna say it but don't kill me I mean that's a great spot for ladies to put their purse I only say that because whenever my wife hops in her car the purse ends up on the passenger seat or if I'm there on the passenger seat floor and I mean who wants to put a nice purse down there right so it's a great spot to put your purse or you know maybe you're a dude you carry a fanny pack I don't know I'm just saying good spot don't kill me for that comment it's not a, a feminine thing um power driver seat we've got here's your automatic high beam control heated steering wheel it is a leather wrapped wheel heated steering wheel there's our power door on or off which I thought was the reason why they went home for the key fob that is incorrect um, nonetheless we'll get that looked at of course let's hop in and 
Oh, nice comfy seats. I got to say in this hand, a really nice comfy seats. Um, so taking a look around here, like I say, the heated leather wrap steering wheel. We've got controls here for the digital display for the driver, volume control, Bluetooth. Over here, we've got now our, um, our safety features, so some of the safety features. So here's your lane keeping assist. You can see it kind of shows the car over that line. Uh, with that on, it's gonna keep the Sienna centered in your lane. And then we've got your forward collision warning, but this is for the uh, adaptive cruise control. So with adaptive cruise, you set cruise at 125, you're driving on the highway in the left-hand lane. And what happens is if someone in front of you doing like 110 and you wanna just freak out, go get the heck out of the way. Well, with adaptive cruise, you don't have to have any road rage. The Sienna will slow down, match the speed of that car when they move out of the way, then it goes back up to the regular cruising speed. So save the road rage for something else because this is gonna be a lot more convenient for you for highway driving. Now, just to give you a look at what we've got down here in the center stack. So right now, um, you can see we've are in EV mode, right? So that means that it's running off just the electric motor, or I guess it would be the electric battery right now, not the motor, the motor's not really driving anything. Um, you can see 7.4 liters per hundred is the average fuel economy we have recently. Uh, there's your eco mode and then back to your uh, digital speedometer. We can cycle over and go through some of the safety features. This is our audio setting. This is the EV mode showing you if we're charging the battery or if we're using the electric motor or if we're using the uh, gas motors, it all kind of displays up there for you. Um, this is your safety settings and a couple of the vehicle settings. And then of course, any messages you have. So you can see, actually let's flip back. So let's see if this updates for us here. Yeah, so there we go. See, so now it's showing you that the electric uh, battery is being charged by the gas engine because it's been reduced to a certain point where it wants to charge it back up again, just to make sure that battery health stays in excellent condition. So that's kind of how uh, the EV system works on, or the hybrid system, EV, whatever you want to call it, on the, uh, the Sienna. But that's kind of cool that it went from one to the other as we're shooting the video, just to give you that idea. Now, coming over here to our really big center display, what I like about this first and foremost, it is a touchscreen system, but we have all the buttons down the side in case you don't like using touchscreen, including a manual control for the volume. We've got no navigation, but we do have the map button. So I think you can have that installed from Toyota. That's funny that I thought it was uh, Navi, but it's not. Um, going to the menu, our audio of course is right here. We've got XM satellite radio, Bluetooth audio input, um, just checking my notes here. I don't see Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but I'd be shocked if it wasn't in there. Uh, Bluetooth, no. I, you know what? Drop me a line in the comments below if this has uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. I can't seem to see it or find it, but I could be wrong. Let's go to apps. Let's see, infotainment, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I don't know if it has it or not. That's horrible, I'm sorry, I should have known that. Um, but I, I don't see it here, so it may not have it. Uh, let's go here, phone. Let's just see if we can find it. No, oh, where's back? Menu, let's try, I mean, stay with me guys. We'll, we'll see if we got it here. Uh, no, you know what, I don't see it. Well, we might not have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but nonetheless, we have a fantastic stereo in here. And with XM satellite radio and Bluetooth audio streaming, you still get all your digital music. When we put the Sienna in reverse, got a nice big, clear LCD display, nice and bright as well. All right, and then looking down here, here is our dual zone climate control for the front. So driver temperature, passenger temperature, independent of course, our um, heated seats are right here, automatic. And then of course the rear. So if you don't want the kids back there mucking around with buttons, you can lock out the rear if you like, or you can allow them to have access, whatever you prefer you can do. We've got a couple USB ports up front here and then nice little kind of junk tray for pens, whatever it is, but it's really nice aesthetic look too. Big cup holders there, nice armor, or pardon me, a nice shifter. And then down here we have our electronic parking brake, as well as electronic, par our, um, what do they, it's not electronic park when we hold, it's uh, what kind of brake hold? I can't remember the exact term for that Toyota calls it. But essentially what that is, is when you come to a stoplight, you with this engaged, you can take your foot off the brake once you come to a complete stop, it will hold the car there. When you push the gas, it releases it. Super convenient feature to have um, as far as, you know, stop and go traffic or stoplights and things like that. EV mode, really what that does is, is when uh, you wanna be as much electric power as possible, you put in EV mode, it will do that, provided that the battery has enough charge to do it for you. And then we've got drive mode here. If we click on that, Let's see if we can get it to show here. So yeah, it really doesn't show very big, but you can see we're in sport mode, 
regular, and then eco mode, right? Obviously you wanna keep it in eco mode, why wouldn't you? Um, here is your push button start. You notice it says power, start, start, and stop. And that's one of the things with the hybrid. It says power versus start, stop. Just a little note for you. Um, here, this is the only thing that I thought that was really kind of strange. It's like a little container, but then super tiny cup holders. I don't know what we would use that for, but I mean, they're there, that's cool. And then here we've got, again, another big junk container here and uh, some USB ports down here, USB-C, USB-A as well. So all the places to keep everything nice and charged up. I'll give you a nice little look at the back again, right? But this is a really, really, really nice, great, fantastic shape Sienna, 50,475 kilometers on it. And then you can see here the Carfax 2021, no accidents, one order reported, even service history. So six service history records found. I mean, this is what you want to see, a one owner, no accident vehicle, low kilometers. And then of course, like we said, hybrid. I mean, come on, six and a half liters per hundred for a van. We are talking about some amazing fuel savings. Maybe that's why the remote doesn't work because I just dropped it. <laughs> oh, all right, so this has been a really cool, comprehensive tour of this Sienna. As you can see, it's a beautiful vehicle for you, your family, and all the safety features and convenience features. If you'd like to purchase it, visit us here at Clarington Kia, or you can purchase this online with our new website, finance, get it all arranged, have your vehicle appraised online, everything start to finish right on our website at ClarentonKia.com. Call. We'd love to uh, help you out no matter which way you want to do that, whether in store or online, because it's your experience, your way every day at Clarington Kia. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and congratulations to whoever picks up this new Sienna.